In order for a life form to achieve an understanding of the universe, it has to have the right apparatus. And on our planet, that means a brain. When the brain has grown very large indeed, it becomes capable of comprehending the universe. And it does this by putting a model of the universe inside itself. But long before a brain can do that, it must grow up on its planet through intermediate stages. It serves an apprenticeship of setting up models of much more ordinary, mundane things. Brains never evolve for grand purposes like simulating the universe. Brains begin by simulating ordinary things like food or like the geography around your home. But our model of the universe will not be a little local model like this one. It will be a far grander undertaking. Building it is a shared enterprise. The model is distributed over the network of brains that are participating. Bits of the model are in books and libraries, pictures, computer databases. As time goes by and our civil civilization grows up more, the model of the universe that we share with one another will get better. It will become progressively more refined and more accurate in its mirroring of reality. And at the same time as we grow up, our shared model will become progressively less superstitious, less small-minded, less parochial. It will lose its remaining ghosts, hobgoblins and spirits. It will be a realistic model, correctly regulated and updated by incoming information from the real world. A powerful model with parts that move relative to one another. A model capable of running on into the future and making accurate predictions of what's going to happen to us and our world. Only one species knows what it is made of, atoms belonging to a known list of elements, and it knows what atoms are made of, up quarks, down quarks, and electrons. Only one species knows how to discover such things, the scientific method which belongs to all humanity. Faint hearts find it a bleak and cold conclusion that we are machines made of atoms living finitely on a rock spinning around an ordinary star hanging in a vacuum in the suburbs of a galaxy, one galaxy among billions. But the universe owes us no comfort, and there is a savage nobility in standing up to face the truth. I cannot think of a better way to enjoy our transient brush with reality than to work at understanding it. Science is the poetry of reality, zenith of human achievement, jewel in our species crown. We, perhaps alone in the universe, are capable of finally growing up. Thank you very much.